Well, it looks like the Clinton death list has just gained one more name after a body was just pulled out of the Potomac River. Jim Hoff to the Gateway Pundit reports that the federal agent seen here on the left, Kurt Smolik, he was found dead after going missing on Monday. His body was pulled from the Potomac River on Wednesday. He was a diplomatic security agent, and according uh, to the role, diplomatic security services of the Department of State, they're charged with global responsibilities, including the safeguarding of American diplomatic personnel, property, classified information, and also they have jurisdiction over classified communications, such as secure email and other platforms. So apparently, um, yeah, a State Department security services official found floating in the Potomac, worked with Hillary Clinton, and he had access and jurisdiction over classified communications as well as emails. So if something doesn't stink, I don't know what does. This clearly stinks to high heaven, okay? There's no, I mean, look, there's too many coincidences here. The Clinton death list is very long and it looks like they have just claimed another victim. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Subscribe for up. Looks like the FBI is going to be exposing Hillary's dirtiest files. That's if everybody does one simple thing right now. Emily Nowak, Liberty Writers News, reports that Ty Clevenger, a New York lawyer, he filed a Freedom of Information Act request concerning Hillary Clinton's email investigation in March 2016. Yes, we are still talking about it. Well, last week, he finally heard back from the FBI regarding the request. And guess what? His request was denied. Yeah, denied. According to the FBI, there was not enough public interest shown to justify completing the request. I'm not sure how they could even justify that. Public interest, not enough? I think that's probably one of the greatest public interests. They say here the FBI says it will only release records from files of former investigations if the subject directly consents, is deceased, or if there is strong public interest in the case. Oh, <laughs> wow. They write here, FBI Records Management Section Chief David M. Hardy bolstered the last claim, telling uh, Clevenger in an email that, quote, you have not sufficiently demonstrated that the public's interest in disclosure outweighs personal privacy interests of the subject. <laughs> wow, they also said here, it is incumbent upon the requester to provide documentation regarding the public's interest in the operations and activities of the government before records can be processed pursuant to the FOIA request. Okay. Um... Man, uh, can you imagine compiling all the public interest uh, information into one email? That, that would fill a book. And they're claiming there isn't any? They say here that considering the Clinton email investigation was a major scandal during the 2016 election that captivated a good part of the electorate. Yes, I'd say that there is public interest. Now, Clevenger was specifically looking for documents that were filed after a referral to the Department of Justice from the former House Oversight Chairman Jason Chaffetz, who asked the DOJ to, quote, investigate and determine whether Secretary Clinton or her employees and contractors violated statutes that prohibit destruction of records, obstruction of congressional inquiries, and concealment or cover-up of evidence material to a congressional investigation. They state here Clinton was found to have used a secret, non-government server during her time as Secretary of State. The FBI determined that she did not deserve charges because she allegedly did not know the dangers of having a secret server. And even though she did, put the national security at risk. Now, uh, Clevenger said of the ruling to the Washington Times, I'm just stunned. This is exactly what I have expected had Miss Clinton won the election, but she didn't. It looks like the Obama administration is still running the FBI. He continued, how can a story receive national news coverage and not be a matter of public interest? If this is a new standard, then there is no such thing as public, a public interest exception. Well, a petition now has been started to refute Hardy's claims and prove that there is interest in the Clinton email scandal. If you go to the link in the description, you can sign it. Something clearly is up with the FBI investigation if they think there's no public interest. Clearly a lame excuse. Luckily, we have people like Ty Clevenger who's willing to get to the bottom of it once and for all. So go to the link in the description at Liberty Writers News, get on that petition, and start signing Patriots right now. 
Comment below. Subscribe for. So I want to speak with Republican Congressman from Texas, Brian Babin. Representative Babin knows about the damage wrought by Harvey firsthand. His home in Texas was flooded. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Oh, it's great to be with you, Judge. Uh dire circumstances over here, but we're going to get through this. Well, you know, if I know anything about Texans, I know that you're going to get through it. I know you're going to work together. You people are hardworking people in Texas. I know that you don't want to be someone who is taken care of. You people take care of yourselves and your family <laughs> and your friends. But I must tell you, Congressman, and, and I'll talk about this a little later in the show, my family lost our home in a flood, and so I know well, the havoc and the devastation station. Uh, how are you and your family dealing with this? What, if anything, is lost in your home, or is your home lost totally? No, my home was not flooded. We had waters around it, but let me tell you something. Thousands and thousands of our constituents have lost their homes, and uh, you said it, Judge Best. Uh, Texans are, are very uh, tough. They're resilient. They're self-sufficient, but we need help. And uh, we can't do it alone. We haven't been doing it alone. A lot of folks have been coming in to help us, neighbors helping neighbors. I can't tell you uh, what, a, what a great feeling I have to see these, uh, these churches and individuals, businesses, corporations, people from out of state, everybody just pitching in and helping one another. I've been on all around my district today except for my, uh, uh, the parts that are inaccessible. And... Uh, Anyway, it's just an incredible feeling to see everybody helping everybody and the wonderful stories uh, that I'll give you an example. A, a, a rancher in Deweyville, Texas, he lost just about everything uh, in this flood, including 780 head of cattle. Mm. And yet he was cooking and barbecuing and serving food uh, to others who were flooded out and evacuees, and he was doing it for free. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the kind of people that we need to uh, we need to come in and help. And that's why I think that I'm, I'm so happy that Donald Trump uh, has, has uh, suggested this eight billion dollar uh, initial package. And uh, we're going to be working on that this week. Well, uh, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy. And I hope my colleagues will help us uh, get through let's, this. Thing. Let's talk about that, Congressman. You know, uh, Senator Cruz wasn't too happy to help us New Yorkers out uh, and New Jerseyites out when uh, Sandy hit. Uh, how do you think that's going to play uh, when he is seeking money uh, and the president as well for the people of Texas? Well, you know what, I think there was a lot of politics being played uh, by uh, some folks. And, and, all I, and, of course, I was not in the, uh, in the Congress at that time. Uh, but let me just say this. This is not a time to play politics. This is the worst uh, weather disaster, the most expensive one in the history of America. And this is not the time to play politics. Well, we've we got certainly to, hope we've got not. To help it, it, Congressman, it never is. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people who suffered in the Northeast uh, uh, during some of our hurricanes. But let's hope that everyone remembers the importance of coming together. And you know, Congressman, you referenced someone who lost X number of head of cattle. Do you worry about disease, uh, mosquitoes, E. coli, uh, people not having access to fresh water, food, you know, grocery stores being flooded. How, how are you guys dealing with that? We're dealing with it with helicopters. I, I mean, I personally delivered a, a huge load of, uh, of food and supplies to, uh, uh, to several areas that, that are, uh, were stricken in my district, uh, at, uh, even today in, uh, in Newton County uh, and also in Orange County. Uh, but we're, we're dealing with it. And, and, and let me tell you something. They, uh, the private donations, the churches, uh, the individuals that are coming over and helping others. Uh, as I said, even if some of our first responders lost their homes as well. They're still out rescuing people. Uh, it, it's incredible to see people that are that are stepping up to the plate. Uh, you know, folks don't have their hands out down here, but they they know when they need help, and that's exactly what's happening. 
Right. And so I'm uh, I'm very very happy and gratified to see everybody doing this. Uh, yeah, and I think and I must tell you, is, Congressman, I, I think it's your lieutenant governor who talked about the flotilla <laughs> so much like the flotilla of Dunkirk, and uh, so many people That's coming right. from around the country to help Texans. Oh, it's just it's just amazing. Florida, Louisiana, especially Louisiana, all of our our neighbors have been coming in. Pennsylvania, Oregon. Uh, unbelievable amounts of people are down here helping folks. And, uh, you know, we're going to get through this thing. Uh, I, I still have some areas of my, my district that are unex inaccessible. Uh, we've got some major, major problems uh, down in the uh, eastern part of Harris County. Uh, uh, we have got Crosby, Deer Park, Pasadena, LaPorte, and uh, uh, Nassau Bay, Clear Lake, uh, you know, those are those are some yeah. of our refining areas, uh, huge, uh, largely industrialized. They're shutting some of these uh, refineries down. These people need to get back to work. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just we're going to get through this thing. All right. We're driving through water as we speak. All right. Congressman Brian Babin, thanks so much for joining us in the midst of uh, your efforts to assist fellow Texans uh, and our thoughts and all our prayers are with you. Thank you, Judge. All God bless. right.